Hey everybody, Brent from Rocky Road Angus Ranch. Um, this morning I'm doing a couple things that I've been putting off for a while. One of them is uh, these big soft sided totes of range cubes um, that uh, are sitting back here. Um, when I had the truck deliver um, my range cubes this last fall, um, they had I ordered 12 tons, I wanted 12 tons, and uh, they called me um, when they went to get the truck loaded, and the two compartments in the truck, one either held 13 tons, or the other one held uh, 10 tons. Well, I had it in my head that I wanted 12, and I didn't want to be a pain in the butt, but I kind of was, and I was leaning more towards the 10. Um, and I kind of mentioned that I would take the 10, but then, um, anyways, I got busy one day, and uh, they came and they delivered the 10 into the the, uh, the bin, and I didn't think nothing of it. Well, then I got, uh, they sent the bill a few days later, and um, they took, went back and weighed out another two tons into these soft-sided totes, which was really very kind of them. Um, so I went and picked them up and uh, brought them home and uh, so today I am going to load them up into the, the bin. Um, I kind of left them sitting out all winter uh, on these totes <clears throat> mainly well one because the winter was so freaking cold who wanted to be outside doing anything if he didn't have to be and two just in case my auger or something uh, crapped out I would have um, another way of getting feed in them the feeder and the pickup um, instead of having to shovel it in there or something um, but uh, anyways that's what I'm up to this morning and I will take you along for the ride um, I already got the tractor hooked up the auger up to the bin already um, I gotta go over and get my father-in-law's bobcat get the forks put on it so I can pick these totes up and get them into the auger so here we go Charlie, what are you doing? See it's it's up in the bin. This is one of those older Lowry square hopper bins which I got for a song. Um, I bought the auger and uh, came with the seed boot on the bottom. I bought a motor and put on it and it works really well. So let's go get the bobcat. All right everybody um, we got a my father-in-law's got a T, a Bobcat T595. Um, this is a very new machine. He's, he's got 50 hours on it. It's kind of cold too. Started better than that in the middle of the winter. Anyways, um, he had a Bobcat S185 last fall, um, and I think he uh, needed to buy himself a Christmas present or something like that, he said. Um, so he went down and traded it off for this thing. Um, he kind of likes to play around with it. This is kind of his toy. Um, so this is what he does, or what he plays with. So, and the best part about it is I get to use it whenever I need it, which is pretty sweet because this is a nice machine. Um, it's, uh, I think you said it's like 25 more horsepower or something than the, the 185. Um, and uh, it's a track machine, so it, it floats well, has good traction in the dirt. It's not the best for moving snow. 
because the, the weight down on the footprint, yeah, it's got a nice big footprint, a lot of, you know, track on the ground, but not much weight on, you know, per square inch of footprint, so, well, it, uh, it spins a lot. But it is a two-speed, so it moves pretty quick. It's nice for pushing snow that way. And you see the two-speed buttons here, the bunny and the rabbit. Bunny and rabbit, yeah. The turtle and the bunny. For high and low. Um, it's got the, the crank throttle there. The button there, you gotta enter a code to get, get it to come on. Um, as you can see, it's still cold. Um, We'll put the forks on this, lift those totes up so we can pull them over the auger so we can dump them in and auger them up into the bin. Um, when I get over there, I will uh, give you a, a quick view of what this thing looks like on the outside. Alrighty guys, this is what we're doing. There's a Bobcat. T595. I'm not sure what the lifting capacity is on it. These are ton totes, so it lifts that without a problem. I don't know where the heck the is. I have no idea. It definitely lifts more than the old one, though. It, uh, I don't know. I'll figure it out. But, um,. You guys see it here and I'm not seeing it, put it down in the comments and uh, we'll figure it out together. But that's what it looks like. It's a nice machine, works good. You see, we need to clean out the undercarriages. We're uh, doing a little bit of mud drainage, so that's not real pretty right now. But I have some more to do today back in the cow lot so it's just going to get worse before it gets better but anyways we're going to fire this up and get it going And these cubes, I don't run it real fast. It's even faster than I normally run it. I normally run it right on idle. I idle it up just a little bit, but we'll see how this goes here. I'm not sure if you're supposed to open the top or not. I didn't, so let's see what kind of damage we can do. This auger and another auger uh, for 200 bucks off of a website, kind of like Craigslist, but locally here. Um, this one works, the other one doesn't have an electric motor on it, but as you can see, this auger hopper doesn't work the best. It serves the purpose, but it kind of makes a bit of a mess too, so I gotta clean that up quick. I figured I might as well do a little bit of drainage while I had it out. As you can see, kind of got a 
water puddle from these snow piles. So, kind of a little drain, temporary drain in our driveway to get this to run across. This, uh, this used to be kind of a ditch going back through here. Um, when we did some dirt work and stuff around here, and when they uh, dug in our sewer system and stuff, we had a pile of dirt left over. So I kind of filled it in to make a decent yard. And this is the only spot right here that I, was, I kind of ran a little short. And it's definitely noticeable come springtime, as you can see. So that's going to be a project for the summer, too, um, is to haul some dirt in here and get this leveled out good. Get it packed down and get some grass seeded into it so the water doesn't sit here all spring like this and we have to do this garbage every year so anyways i haven't unhooked the tractor from the auger yet but i'm gonna go do that in just a second got a couple of cows i'm keeping an eye on they uh should be calving today i'm surprised they didn't calve during the night um nothing calved during the night which is okay because it wasn't a very nice night Kind of rainy, foggy, just like it is now, but there's just nothing else I can get them in the barn today. I put a bunch in last night, half of them came back out. What do you do? So, this is what's going on around here on this fine Saturday. Temperature wise, it's actually pretty nice, but it's windy and it's extremely humid with the fog. The only good thing about the fog is, like this the old wives' tale goes, 90 days after fog you should be getting precipitation so myself and a lot of other individuals I know are really looking forward to that or hoping that comes true and historically it does actually happen quite often so I'm gonna keep an eye on the some of the cows today and see how things go around here I'm gonna go up and close up the bin here I'll show you what it looks like inside the bin all right guys I don't know how I can see that. I can see it pretty good. That's what it looks like down in there. I've pulled more out of there than I thought I did, but looks like it uh, kind of filled up the hole that was in there, which is good. So, hopefully, have a good amount left after we turn the cows out on the pasture. Try not to drop my phone down in there because I don't want to have to call in there and get the dang thing. So, anyways. This is a view from the top of the hopperman. This is about cat. And uh, anyways, I think this video is probably getting to be long enough. So, if you guys got any questions on what I'm doing out here, or what I've showed you this morning, feel free to drop it down in the comment section and uh, give me a rate and. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, I sure appreciate it. And we will catch y'all later. Hey right, guys, I'm back. Um, I'm just going to park this thing somewhere. Hopefully I won't need it for a really long time. I haven't decided where that's going to be yet. I was going to try and get up, go up through the trees here. This is on the east side of the farm. There's our house right there. Um, but it uh, looks like there's quite a bit of snow logged in up here yet, so I might just unhook it in the tree, or along the trees here in the grass, and move it up into the pasture or something um, this summer when it warms up and the snow is gone, or even not too long from now. I wanted to check this out anyways because I need to bring a bunch of junk up to the burn hole, and you can kind of see our, my other logger up there. But we go up here and just at the kind of at the end of the trees before the, the other tree row goes west There's a break in the trees there, and that's where we go. I go into the pasture. There's a little like three acre hay field up here, too that I keep the cows out of through most of the summer then I hay it get the hay off of it and uh, Turn the cows out in there let it grow back good or as much as it's gonna grow back and once the other the rest of the pasture kind of starts going backwards for the summer I open that up and let the cows come in there and eat. They get a, about a week or two out of that. So, Anyways, that's uh, kind of another part of the farm that you haven't seen yet. It's not real interesting, but this is 
kind of a real pretty little trail uh, in the summer when the trees are all green, grass is green and stuff. There's just a little little trail that comes up here. Uh, the neighbor uses it to come up into his field back here too. Um, but it's kind of cool. Like I said, this is probably going to be the end of the video. Um, so please comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, call that thumbs up button.